Hello, my beautiful Capricorn Vibe Tribers. Welcome to your February 1st through 29th, 2024 reading. Many blessings to you all as you move into this energy of this new month. And we begin with the absolute knowledge that we are doing this in the collective. The collective means it's for all sun, moon, and rising signs. This is a general reading. So if you'd like to have a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. And if you'll put your attention on the ticker at the bottom of the screen, you will see that I'm giving a 20% discount for Valentine's Day because I love each and every one of you, and I'm very grateful to have you in my life. So I'm giving the discount through February 14th. So February 1st through 14th, please book your reading. If you've never done one with me, I have all ranges of different things. So check it out and see what fits you. As we move forward, remember this is all about the big machine the mechanism of the algorithm. So please do me a favor and click that like and subscribe button because that helps me to promote my videos more. And I know you would like to have other people enjoy them as much as you do. So with that out of the way, let's see what the cards have to say. And Capricorn, you've got an opportunity coming in. This is the opportunity of a lifetime, the Four of Cups. This very often is a blessing in disguise. So don't kick it out of the park right out of the, out of the, out of the chute. You want to give it a chance to, to t totally investigate this because it may appear one way, but it's certainly not what it seems. It's better. So not every offer is going to be this way, but you want to make sure you vet them all because you don't want to miss that big opportunity. It is a blessing in disguise after all. Now, we have the Strength card, Leo, Major Arcana, and Archangel Ariel. This is the energy of persistence and perseverance that you need as we move through this lifetime to get through the tough times and to keep yourself focused so that other things don't distract you in the meantime. So, staying in the energy, let's see what else we have. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light. Divine Spirit, we have the Empress, Feminine Energy of Creation. This is the beautiful energy of the universe coming in, the goddess energy of all existence, to help you bring something into form. She's even given you the framework to do so. So what a useful and wonderful energy that is of fertility, growth, and new abundance. Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Gods, and Goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. Boom! We have the energy of the Knight of Cups. Beautiful energy bringing you in to the offer that's being extended very, very sincerely. So it could be an offer of love. It can be an offer of a job. It can be an offer of assistance or appreciation. It is a beautiful extension and it's on horseback. So offering the cup is always a sincere offer of the good energy. Being able to move forward without being held back any longer, you have the graduation energy of the Eight of Cups. It's allowing you to step into your destiny, moving forward without anything obstructing you because you've already passed all the trials and tribulations here. The hurdles are done on this particular stretch of the road, and the moon is showing you the entire horizon. That shadowy energy is the land on the other side of this water that you see in front of you so allowing yourself to move toward that energy knowing that the doors are open and the universe is showing you every opportunity they are already showing up don't overthink it this is where we try to control it and we try to manifest through our own logic and that is not going to work because miracles are not logical so allow yourself to let go of the rules and the need to control how it's going to happen and let the universe do that part. It's not your move. It's just like chess. All you're doing is focusing on the end result, right? That is being in the place of victory. 
Don't worry about how. The universe is still working on that part. It's better that you don't know. You will be given the clarity you need. This is the Ace of Swords coming in. So no problem in receiving the clarity as you move forward in the energy. It's going to show up. It's going to clear the, the clouds that have been blocking your vision. You can now see your way forward. It's a victory energy. It's an Ace that's being given by Divine. It's going to cut free any entanglements you have from the past. So you're literally free and clear and you can see your way forward. Boom, boom, boom goes the tower. So whatever's been holding you back in this area, in the household area, in your relationships, love life, and spiritual life, that tower is going to clear what's been blocking you and free you. And yes, it's a victory. As the tower comes down, you rise up. That beautiful world card means being in a place of feeling empowered and standing in the limelight. It's a beautiful energy. Yes, another great energy, the Ten of Swords, releasing you from the feeling of the stress and having a target on you, feeling like everything is just coming down around your ears. You now have the clarity and open energy of releasing that. You're through the cycle of the SHIT storm <laughs> that's been happening, right? And again, reminding you, logic is not what you need here. You have to use your divine mind in creating the scenario of success that you want. Logic is not your is not your friend here. Yep, we've got the energy of the seven of swords, which means either changing position, moving to a new location. At it could be at the same company, but it could be a different one. That usually means two weeks notice. So you're not being fired. This is you making a choice to change. Yeah, because you got a new job offer. Hello. There's the page of pentacles. So you just get ready because that's coming. That's the offer that's being made there. And the hierophant, that is the energy of a corporation, a large uh, government agency or entity. This is a yes. We are welcoming you. This is a bandwagon coming in saying, we are so happy that you are going to be with us. You're the exact person we need. And they're very, very welcoming. Three days, three weeks, three months. Third time's the charm is the timing of it happening. And it's already been allotted and has been dispatched in your direction. So it's already in, in motion before you even know. So love it. You don't have to know what this is. Don't try to rack your brain. Remember, logic isn't what you need. The possibility and the energy of manifesting is all you need. And you just have to overcome your, your need to to like go back and forth in your mind. This is internal conflict. It can also be some of the competition. Just stand your ground. Somebody is actually in your corner for this. You don't have to worry. They are actually rooting for you. And whoever's trying to uh, circumvent that isn't going to be successful at it. They've already made up their mind. It's you. So we'll take that with a, with a happiness and moving. Oh, hello. In case you didn't get the memo. <laughs> Here's the Hierophant again. Now, this is an underlier, so we'll see if it comes back out. But it's definitely here and, and accounted for. So we'll see if it's more than one opportunity if it shows up a second time. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light, divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all Capricorn, sun, moon, and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So we're going to go right into the star card. What a blessing. This is your soul's desire being granted. It's a soul's wish. And that's the offer coming in for it. So this is something that you're highly, highly concentrated on. Whether you know it or not, it's part of your soul's mission. That is the Aquarius Major Arcana, by the by. Look at that victory card coming in again. The Ace of Swords, second time right here in the same set. So that's an echo when that happens because it's 
it's across from each other. So absolutely, you've got the clarity, the victory, and the ability to see your way clear to move forward in success, even though you have more than one opportunity, one more than one way to do it. Uh, it's telling you, choose the one that resonates in your heart and you won't regret it. If you choose somebody else's idea, you're going to second guess yourself the whole way. So make sure you don't try to move in a way that seems logical. Because remember, it's telling you, don't try to control this. Go with what your gut is telling you. And you'll be happy ever after. So that is the energy of the Ten of Cups. So happily ever after indeed on that energy. So we'll take that with a wonderful happy skip in our step. That is divine alignment, by the way. It's a ten, just like that ten of swords. It's letting go of the things that were holding you back from this happiness. So you're now in a place where that is resolved. And the four of rods. The four of rods is a doorway to your future. And for some people, it could mean nuptials. This is the energy of stepping through that doorway into that blessing of that castle in the background. And it means good communication and solid foundation, even though it's on top of that tower. And so the tower shakes you up a little bit, and that's when you get into a little bit of self-doubt, and you have to be able to move through that self-doubt and into that world card energy, so you know that's happening. Um, listen, fear is going to show up when you make a change, always. You can count on it. The, the change happens, and here comes the fear, or the you find out about the change, and here comes the fear. We have to be able to step through our fear. It is really that doorway. You just don't have to be afraid to step through it. You have to allow yourself to feel the fear, acknowledge it, but don't let it hold you back. You're stepping out of your comfort zone. Of course, it's going to be scary. That's the energy of a financial offer being made here as well. So that's beautiful. As you move into the energy, you got two page of pentacles, two offers. Remember, we said that might be, yep. There you go. Now, this is for sure because <laughs> it's a solid echo. It's right on top of the other one. So choose wisely, my darlings, because these are the times of change that are upon you and you can do what you choose, but you, you've got to make sure you're doing the thing you want to do. Yeah, there's the tower. So definitely two big changes, uh, personal life and in the career and finance area. I can't make those stop sliding, so I'm going to stop trying. And the King of Cups comes in. So whatever the new offer is, is, is from someone who does want your highest good. So it can be a very good employer or boss that's bringing you into that. So you've got all kinds of new things going on here. And the divine alignment with the energy of that Hierophant. So whichever one you choose will be one that makes you feel like you're in the energy of your soul tribe and in the aligned energy of everybody moving forward together and under the same goal. Oh, look, you got a double three of swords. So the divine timing is there locked in. This is a solid confirmation. It's not an echo. It's not a, not anything with a gap between it. It is absolutely confirming the timing. Three days, three weeks, three months, third time's the charm. Aries Major Arcana, the Emperor. This is the masculine energy of the universe coming in and saying this, that money is already there for the taking and it's already being dispersed to you. It's on its way. So... We love that confirmation with the Ace of Cups as our final card. This is a blessing from Divine. It is the energy of all the things that you could possibly want being said yes to as the universe gives you the tools and literally the genetic DNA to make it happen. It is there and available, so there's nothing lacking. All you have to do is allow it to come forth. The Holy Grail is being given to you, the Ace of Cups. The divine healing, relationships, love life, all of the wonderful energy that you want to have blessings in abundance in that energy. So I'll announce really quickly, I have uh, started doing or I'm about to start doing live readings uh, where I do a one question reading on YouTube. So if you see me go live, check it out. Um, it'll be fun to watch if nothing else. And if you want a question answered, of course, you'll be able to do that. So you'll, you'll find out more as we go, but I, that's my next plan. Here I go again. You know, I'm never stopping. It's, <laughs> I 
I'm always, I'm always doing something new. So here we go to that. So I love you guys. Thank you for everything. Many blessings to you. And I hope that you'll take advantage of the Valentine's offer. And I will see you soon. Namaste, my friends.